Okay, here we have the Beringer X32. Powered Eagle, by Midas. Eagerly awaited by some and um, not others. I really wanted to hate this, um, but I'm not really feeling You've in a hating mood. I've come around, less so yourself. Well, no, no, I, I go into these things with a uh, fairly open mind. You're broad-minded? I am broad-minded. Um, you've got 32 inputs, so 16 faders here times two, that's it. You've got 16 outputs, effectively, it's a 16 cent monitor desk or it's a 14 cent from front of house monitor desk. Yeah, there's some matrixes too. There's six matrixes, but you can only send auxiliaries into the matrix. It's you effectively can't send a, a 16 in, sorry, 32 in, 16 out desk. I'll give you that. Um, there's your input stage. Um, here's your output. It's got a recorder slot. It's, um, it's also got AES 50 ports on the back, which means you don't have to use the preamps on the back of the thing. You can so use you can, as a remote rack, remote you can rack cat, option. Cat5 off to a, a remote um, box, which they sell for well under $1,000. That's really cheap, hey? Um, this desk itself is around four grand. Um, it really should be about seven. When the bottom Midas product, which is also in the Beringer family, is north of 10 grand, mm. um, why sell this for four? But that's the way they do things. I have a theory on that. Go on. It's because it sounds like it's worth about four. Ooh, controversial. Why is this? Okay, well, look, you've Talk got... about the input crews. Yeah, you've got a lot of functionality for what is fundamentally a very cheap price. So at some point, you have to make a sacrifice to get that. And, and to me, the sacrifice is sonic. Look, But it I, says powered by Midas. How can that be? Yeah, well... You can you can stick a good preamp in front of anything, and then if you do well, horrible stuff that. to it digitally, you know, we 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 had a good, really good hard long listen to this, and found the input preamp to sound soft, or it suffers I, from a lack I, of dynamic. I range. think it it, it it suffers from a lack of dynamic range, and to me, it's dull. It's it's not that it sounds bad; it just sounds disinteresting and dull. Tell the folks what we compared it to. Um. I compared it to a previous generation of Behringer console, oh, scary. and to me, that actually has a nicer preamp. I, I don't disagree. Um, I, I feel like I lose top end, and I feel like my input signal gets choked when I feed it through this. So what doesn't make sense here? Okay, well look, to me, you've obviously figured it out, but I could not for the life of me see an obvious way to put names on these scribble oh, strips. The scribble strips I are really nice. I really like the display. I really like the feel of some of these buttons. The faders feel a bit cheap, but they're all right. Au contraire, um, out of the box, I built my regular 32 in 6N mix with no trouble at all. No you figured out how to insert graphics on your auxiliaries yes, and I so did. on? Yeah. No drama. Well, if you can figure it out. Anyone can. Except me, apparently. Apparently. So there you go. Um, built to a uh, price point, and uh, who knows what's going to happen next. Look, I think, I think a lot of people will like this, and I think if, if you didn't previously have an option in the, the sub five grand mark for a big digital desk, well, a relatively big digital desk, this is, this is going to be your dream come true. If, if you can trust it. Well, we, we trusted it reasonably. We tried, we stuck it on soak overnight and we came back the next morning and looked at a record we did and no glitches on the waveform. Yeah, we, we've... Nothing we've, was on fire. We've given it heaps. Um, we, I, have been, we have been unusually hard on this. I've been inclined to wait for version two before I used the thing on a professional gig. I mean, that's just natural. I think any digital console um, operating system version one, I'm adverse to that now. You reckon? No, knowing what we now know mm. about a lot of other brands, mm. true. We've seen some shockers. We have, we have. Other, other than that, there you go. There's the X32.